Hello dear friends, welcome back. Friends, we are discussing about the structure uh, of sclera, right? So this was our previous lecture. This was everything regarding the structure and composition and parts and everything about the sclera. I hope you have watched this lecture and I hope you have some knowledge of the sclera and I hope you have liked the lecture, right? So now as I had told you in the end of the previous lecture that we will discuss about those structures which pass through the sclera what are those structures and what are those important points so as you can see here this is our sclera right this white of the eye sclera so there are many structures which pierce the sclera and pass through the sclera and enters inside the eye so what are those structures let us see all those structures hey guys welcome back let's see structures which pass through which pass through sclera friends one thing which is very important which i want to tell you guys that is the sclera is avascular it itself does not contain any artery or any vein rather it provides the blood supply to <coughs> it it has some small small pores through which those blood vessels can pass through it and will reach to those important points where the blood supply is given to the eye so what structures are passing through the sclera so first and the most important thing first of all we should know that in order to know about the structures which pass through the uh, sclera we should make a diagram of the eye from posterior aspect as you can see this is lateral aspect this is anterior aspect and this is posterior aspect so you can see through the sclera there are many things which pass through the sclera from posterior side from dorsal side right so we should make a diagram here which shows the posterior aspects of the sclera and we will show you all those important uh, markings all those important arteries and nerves which pass through the sclera right so let's make this diagram here this is uh, an eye right and this is our optic disc right for example this structure right this is the lateral view and this is the posterior view right so let us see which structures are passing through the uh, sclera so first and the most important thing the first of all is the optic nerve you can see friends if we see in this diagram there is the, la the, the, the lamina cribrosa which I had told you in the previous lecture so here is the lamina cribrosa right of the sclera and this is your optic nerve and these optic nerve fibers are leaving this optic disc through this lamina cribrosa and they enter inside the eye and they make the third layer which is called the retina right like this so all these fibers what is this this is uh, your optic nerve so the first thing which pierces the sclera and passes through it is your optic nerve so here is your optic nerve which passes through your sclera right like this so the first thing let us write here is the optic nerve optic nerve passes through it then you can see here this uh, th this yellow color inside the optic disc you can see here this is your optic nerve which is passing through this uh, canal right optic canal then and this red and blue what is this these are the arteries and veins right so we say the optic artery or we see central retinal artery right so from here also the central retinal artery enters so let us write it here the central retinal artery it passes and enters to, to the eye through the sclera, right? So here will be your central retinal artery. <coughs> the, then there is central retinal vein leaving the eye, right? So we have the central central retinal vein 
which leaves the eye and comes out and brings the deoxygenated blood from the uvea and other parts of the eye right then what structures next going short ciliary arteries right so there are short ciliary arteries right so i'm drawing a very simplified diagram friends right so look carefully for example here is an artery we are just showing you through example for example here is an artery right and this artery is responsible to supply blood to the eye so this is called ophthalmic artery ophthalmic artery so from ophthalmic artery there are short short branches right which are going towards the sclera and pierces the sclera and enter the eye right so these are called your short ciliary arteries so there are many short ciliary arteries which pass through the sclera and enters the eye so they may vary in number they may be 12 short ciliary artery they may be 15 short ciliary artery they may be 10 so they vary in number so short ciliary artery comes from what the branches of from branches of from ophthalmic artery right and from ophthalmic artery there are about uh, we say about 12 to 20 arteries what the short ciliary arteries enter the uh, the eye through the sclera they pierce the sclera then there are long ciliary arteries number five long ciliary arteries right and these long ciliary arteries are also the branches of the ophthalmic artery and they enter the, the eye through sclera and they go directly towards the ciliary body so we said these are called the long ciliary arteries so long ciliary arteries also enter the eye so they are uh, i think they, they are twin number yes we say long ciliary arteries also branches of from ophthalmic artery right and from this ophthalmic artery how many branches are given two long branches are given and these two long branches enter the eye from sides we have shown it from uh, we have dissected the eye in the center right so one artery enters from here and one from air so i want to show you in this diagram here so one artery comes and enters the eye from here and one from here so they enter the eye from sides right so that's why we show them here so here are the positions of the long ciliary arteries right friends so long ciliary arteries pierce the sclera and enters the eye then there are number six short ciliary nerves which enters the eye so we say short ciliary nerves they also enter the eye so they come from where they come from ciliary ganglion look here they came from ciliary ganglion and they enter the sclera uh, they enter the eye through sclera so we draw them here so these are the short ciliary nerves and they enter the eye through your sclera so these are the positions for short ciliary nerves and we have very fantastic book with us that shows all these diagrams and everything uh, i hope uh, you guys would uh, like to uh, to study this book so this is bd Asia. it's a very very beautiful book full of knowledge book uh, you can study this book uh, it has very nice diagrams and everything right so we use this book in order to make lectures for you guys so look this these are the points from where the short ciliary nerves enter and these nerves branches are from ciliary ganglion for example this is a ganglion which is called ciliary ganglion and from this ciliary ganglion small small nerves enter the eye through the 
uh, yeah, through what? Uh, through uh, sclera and then enters the eye. Then there are long ciliary nerves. Number seven. Long ciliary nerves. Right? And long ciliary nerves also enter the eye through uh, the, the sclera. They pierce the sclera and enters the uh, the eye and they are branched off from what they are the branches of the nasociliary nerve right so <coughs> long ciliary nerves are branches of nasociliary nerve right this nasociliary nerve gives these long ciliary uh, nerves and they enter the eye through the sclera so all these structures are there and they pierce the sclera and enters the eye that's why i'm drawing it then there are some veins which are called the verticose veins number eight verticose veins and there there are four verticose veins you can see them here also look at in this uh, sketch in this model one two three and four so these four are the verticose veins that arise from the sclera and they drain the inside and the the, the core the i'm sorry the uh, uvia and everything they drain the they drain them so we say here are the verticose veins so as i told you there are four verticose veins right so we have drawn two and two of them are here so we will draw them here this is one verticose vein this is second this is third and this is fourth verticose veins and they come out of the eye so we said these are uh, how many four verticose veins and they pour their deoxygenated blood into the superior ophthalmic vein these two enter the superior ophthalmic vein for example here is your superior ophthalmic vein and here is your inferior ophthalmic when so these two will drain here right and these two will drain there so this is a very uh, this is not the anatomically correct diagram so we just want to know uh, so verticose veins how many four veins and they you know, will pour their blood into superior ophthalmic vein right and inferior ophthalmic vein done then some other structures uh, there are the anterior ciliary arteries which are very important friends so number nine structures which pass through the sclera these are called the anterior ciliary arteries now look anterior ciliary arteries so look carefully <coughs> let me draw a diagram here look for example this is our eye right this is the cornea here are muscles recti muscles right so from here an artery from the ophthalmic artery for example this is your ophthalmic artery this one from ophthalmic artery an artery arises and comes uh, towards the muscles of the eye right like this and from here from this muscular branch of ophthalmic artery their branches comes out and enters the eye right from anterior side to the ciliary body here is your ciliary body you know and here is also your ciliary body so from these muscular branches of the ophthalmic artery some branches of arteries arise and they pierce the sclera and enters the ciliary body so these are called the anterior ciliary arteries so anterior ciliary arteries also pierce the sclera and enters the ciliary body of the eye so they supply blood there too right so these are the nine important structures which pierce the sclera and enters the eye then we say what is the blood supply of sclera blood 
supply of sclera as i told you in the start in the beginning of this lecture that sclera itself is avascular it is not supplied by any artery that's why we say that it uh, this sclera is avascular right and then what then we say what is the innervation of the sclera who innervate it innervation of sclera so mostly it is provided with sensory innervation so from from interior parts right from interior aspects like this from interior part the sclera and the posterior part of the sclera so there are two different nerves which uh, long posterior ciliary nerve and short uh, posterior ciliary nerves right so these two nerves are responsible to supply uh, innervation to the sclera so we say uh, yeah long posterior ciliary nerves and short posterior ciliary nerves these are responsible to supply innervation sensory innervation to your sclera so friends these were the important structures which pass through sclera which pierce the sclera and enters the eye so my dear friends this was all about the sclera in the we have recorded about i think about uh, sclera we recorded three lectures so i hope you have got the knowledge of sclera the structure and composition and everything in this that's all about sclera see you in the next lecture we will start discussing the choroidal layer of the eye and then we will move further forward and see all those other structures which are present in the eye see you in the next lectures till then Allah Hafiz.